Good afternoon, I'm John Perkins, the Closing Market Minute. After an up and down day, soybeans closed modestly lower Wednesday. Chile has canceled the APEC meeting that was scheduled for mid next month, at which the United States and China were expected to sign phase one of the proposed trade deal. As of Wednesday afternoon, no makeup date had been announced. Past that, beans are watching U.S. harvest activity, which did help to limit losses a little bit, along with South American planting conditions. Corn ended the session modestly higher, expecting more near-term harvest delays in parts of the Midwest and Plains. Anecdotally, yields have varied widely, and moisture content has been high in some key U.S. growing areas. And wheat was lower. Winter wheat planting and emergence are both close to average, and the recent rain and snow is expected to be beneficial to the emerging crop in the long term. And in any event, USDA does project a record global supply at the end of this marketing year. Live and feeder cattle closed higher, supported by the day's direct cash cattle business. It was lightly traded, but up $2 on the week, at least on the live basis. Box beef was mixed at midday, weak for choice, sharply higher for select. And hogs ended the session higher ahead of the USDA's weekly export sales report. Remains to be seen, though, just how much U.S. pork China bought last week. I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute.